The second type of anemia is iron deficiency anemia. It is a common type of anemia. Uh, it's a condition which blood uh, lacks adequate healthy red blood cells. Iron deficiency anemia is due to insufficient iron. Your body cannot produce enough hemoglobin without iron. You can usually correct iron deficiency anemia with iron supplements. Iron deficiency anemia can be so mild that it goes unnoticed but it can worsen over time. Iron deficiency anemia signs and symptoms may include extreme fatigue, weakness, pale skin, chest pain, fast heartbeats or shortness of breath, headache, dizziness or lightheadedness, cold hands and feet, inflammation or, so or shortness of your, tongue, of, your, of your tongue, little nails, unusual craving for non-nutritive substances such as ice, dirt or st starch, Poor appetite, especially in infants and children with iron deficiency anemia. If you develop signs and symptoms that suggest iron deficiency anemia, contact your doctor. This anemia isn't something to self-diagnose. Let your doctor do the diagnosis and recommend your iron supplements. Overloading your body with iron can be dangerous because it can damage your liver and cause other complications. If you aren't consuming enough iron, your body can't produce enough hemoglobin, and iron deficiency anemia will develop. Causes of iron deficiency anemia may include blood loss. If you lose blood, you lose some iron. Women with heavy periods are at risk of iron uh, deficiency anemia because they lose a lot of blood. Uh, a lack of, of iron in your diet. You need to make sure that your food contains iron, for example, meat, eggs, leafy greens, vegetables, and iron-fortified foods. Uh, more cause is the inability to absorb iron. Iron is absorbed into your bloodstream in your small intestine. An intestinal disorder can affect your intestine's ability to absorb nutrients from digested food, which can lead to iron deficiency anemia. And last thing is pregnancy. Iron deficiency anemia occurs in many pregnant women, so they need more iron supplements. Okay. Um, risk factors. Um, first, like, what what are the risks that you need to look out laughing. for in order to? Um, the, the, the risk of I'm like, can you guys hear me now? Is my voice clear? Yes, now it's clear. Okay. Um, iron deficient. How how can you decrease the risk of having iron deficiency anemia? Well, first of all, uh, by the name, you have iron deficiency. Um, so first of all, you need to get. <laughs> um, you you need to consume iron if you can if you lack iron you're gonna get a deficiency and then get a problem that puts you that's in that number one second of all um women's women lose a lot of blood during their periods um they are a greater risk of getting this disease infants and children um they they need their they to take in proper iron as they grow up um, because they're constantly growing and constantly um, in need, they're constantly in need of uh, oxygen. Basically, they're small. In fact, especially those who are low birth weight or born prematurely, who do not get enough, get enough iron from breast milk or formula, may be at risk of iron deficiency. Children need extra iron during growth spurts. This is what I'm saying by when they grow up faster. Um, if your child is in a healthy, varied diet, he may be at risk. Vegetarians are at risk, especially people who don't eat iron-rich plant foods. Or can, can vegetarians eat fish? I think they can, right? Vegans are the ones that can't eat fish. Yeah, they have the gummies if they really don't want any iron like to get iron from other animals 
I'm not delicious though. <laughs> but but vegetarians can't eat fish, right? Um, vegans, I f- I'm not sure. I think vegans are the ones that don't eat meat at all, don't eat any animals, and vegetarians are the ones that just don't eat, don't get any uh, any cow products. I'm not sure of it though. Anyways. The way I understand it is vegetarians cannot eat any meat, including fish. There's like pescatarians, which is everything but fish, and then vegans is everything, including dairy. So I thought that vegetarians exclude all meat products, including fish, but vegans don't eat like um, dairy and eggs is okay. That's what I think. But you can, um, you can all go with this. Yeah, you can probably search it up. Okay, so basically, if your diet doesn't contain um, vegetarian, you make you need to make sure that, or if you see any vegetarian, make sure to tell him that he needs to have iron in his diet. Um, either foods that um, just he, he needs iron and last um, the. For the fourth risk factor that you can have um, is if you are a frequent blood donor. If you donate a lot of blood, you're lacking the, you're lacking blood. So you need, uh, so that puts you at, at, at risk of getting iron deficiency anemia. Uh, complications. Um, if you are hit with iron deficiency anemia, Usually, if it's mild and it's not that um, that severe, there isn't too much complications. But if it's if it's untreated and becomes a severe level, you're gonna have a lot of health problems. These health problems include um, heart problems. We said this before. Your heart gets overworked because it's a muscle at the end of the day, and if it gets overworked, it cannot work properly, and you're gonna end up with a lot of problems. Second of all, um, if you are you have iron deficiency, um, there's going to be problems during pregnancy. We've talked about this before. Um, pregnant women lose a lot of their blood. They need iron to produce new growth problems, especially in infants and babies or children. <laughs> um, severe iron deficiency can delay their growth. Um, it's usually associated with increased susceptibility to infection. If you don't have enough iron, you are more prone to a lot of infections as well. So make, we need to make sure that children eat a lot of iron. Let's make a movement. All right, uh, next slide. Prevention. What you can do, basically, you have iron deficiency. You're lacking iron. Intake a lot of iron to reverse this or prevent having this iron deficiency. Sips, really. Um, and iron rich foods. Make sure that you eat some of these, at least. Um, red meat, we don't eat pork. Uh, um, as Muslims do eat pork, I don't know. Does anyone know what poultry is? Um, so red meat, basically meat. Um, seafood. Uh, most seafood have um, have a lot of iron, such as fish, shrimps, and things. Um, beans, dark green leafy vegetables such as spinach, uh, dried fruit such as raisins and apricots. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh. Um, or the mishmash. I don't. I'm not sure. Um, iron fortified cereals such as bread and pastas and peas. Your body absorbs more iron from meat than it does from any other resources. So eat your meats. If you don't eat meats, make sure that you eat like you eat something instead. But meat is very good for you. Yay! Um, 
foods containing vitamin C to enhance iron absorption. So another thing you could do is um, make sure that you that you can make sure that your bo your body is absorbing is absorbing um, this iron. Uh, vitamin C helps in absorbing iron. Um, things that can in include vitamin C are broccoli, grapefruit, kiwis, leafy greens, melons, uh, oranges, peppers, strawberries, tangerines, and tomatoes. Uh, preventing iron deficiency in infants. Um, I, this is basically for mothers. Um, I don't know if we should talk about this more. Um, Maybe uh, I need this information for when I uh, maybe <laughs> possibly have children in the future. Or maybe when, when you become a doctor and you talk to talk yeah, to true. The so this is important. OK, this is important. Um, <laughs> to prevent iron deficiency anemia in infants, the mother needs to feed its baby breast milk or iron fortified formula for the first year. Cow milk isn't a good source of iron for babies and isn't recommended for infants under one year. After age six, after age six months, for three to six months, you can start, the, the mother can start feeding the baby cereals and pureed meats at least twice a day to boost iron intake. After yes, one right. year, yeah, cereal. Yeah, there's a lot of, of these. Uh, products that they just put iron in them just for, for their growth. After one year, um, make sure the baby doesn't drink more than 20 ounces of milk a day. Milk, I think they mean by cow milk. Um, too much milk often takes the place of other foods, including those that are rich in iron. So don't let it drink too much milk. Um, because there's a lot of more rich iron resources. Uh, so uh, we're going to leave the rest topics for uh, Sunday. We're going to talk about sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, uh, and the vitamin deficiency anemia. Uh, this is the end of the presentation. Thanks for your attention.